Sagittarius, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general love message for August 2022. Now, these are just spot messages, so if you need something a little bit more in depth, please feel free to email me at angelslighttarot at gmail.com. All right, now we're going to start with singles, and then we're going to move right into couples and situationships at the end. So angels, high vibrations, what are the love messages around singles for the month of August? There we go. Angels, we're looking for joy. Yes, we are for lovely, lovely Sag. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. There we go. And one more, please. Hmm, what is going on here? So the major, major, I feel like there's a lot of love around you, but I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes people are coming on too strong. I feel like whoever this is that's in your world, they're coming on a bit too strong for you. Like, yeah, okay, all right. I know you love me. I know you like me. All right. Okay. In the middle of the month, I see that you literally don't have to do anything um, in this situation. I kind of feel like whoever this is, they may be older. They may be more dominant in their personality. And they're coming on very strong. But I feel like in the middle of the month, yes, there's other opportunities, believe it or not. Someone else is coming on with a little less virado, if you know what I mean. It's almost like this person, you can lay back, you can chill with this person, and everything will move forward in a very uh, subtle, gentler way. Versus in the beginning, this person is coming on way, way too strong for you. Now, at the end of the month, yes, we have love. Yes, we do with the full card. You are about, about to set out on a journey, Sagittarius, with this person that is new. I kind of feel like I feel like it's the person in the middle of the month, but let's see. Let's let's take a peek. Who is this person? Who will, and I'm not even going to say you're going to choose because I already know, Sag, this person that's coming on way too strong mm, it's, because you opened up the door for someone who is less aggressive in their love nature. I feel like that's who you're going to choose, but let's take a peek. Okay. There we go. Yeah. You know what, Queen of Wands? You know exactly who you are choosing this month, and I... I'm going to take a, a, a deep breath here, and I'm going to say, yeah, it's the one that's less aggressive, less intimidating, in intimidating, if you will. All right, so, and, and, and this is a new adventure, and I feel it feels very good, and it feels very fun, if you will. You guys are going to do things that you've never done before, okay? All right, now, let's take a peek into Sagittarius, who are in a beautiful, beautiful love bond. What are the messages, angels? Ah, you know what? We're going to use these. Thank you, angels. And remember, these are all right side up. Thank you. And thank you. I think we need one more because that's what that's what fell out. So we're going to read that. Okay, couples. Angels, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You couples, what do you have to look forward to? Oh my gosh. Ah, Okay, you know what? This is a this is an amazing month for you. Couples. Major, major thing right out of the gate. They are giving you everything that you want, your heart's desire. They are laying down the carpet, the red carpet for you. Flowers, candy, they are trying to win you over even though they already have you. Isn't that nice when you're in a relationship and they still want to make you happy? They still want to give you everything that they have? I feel like, and it doesn't have to be just money. I feel like it's everything. It's emotions. It's love. It's feelings of security, which are very important. When we look in the middle of the month, we have emotional freedom and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like the two of you are, there is this sense of lightness in the relationship relationship, a sense of freedom in the relationship, not freedom as in to wander, but freedom as in, I don't have to worry. You have freedom from worrying in the middle of the month. That emotional worry, 
not yours this month in the middle of the month you also know with the ten of pentacles even more is coming you guys this way i think that um, financially speaking, the two of you are coming into some abundance. It might not be in the middle of the month, but you definitely are aware that it is coming. And that is actually making the two of you sigh a breath of release. And that is making you feel even more humble. I feel like this relationship is humbling you because there's certain things around the relationship that is almost protecting the two of you, okay? Now, when we look at like the universe, like like, you know, you God's got you guys, okay? The angels got you guys. All right, so when we look at the end of the month, we have the gardener, we have the commitment, we have the six of swords and the ace of wands. So at the end of the month, by the end of the month, I see you guys putting in a little bit of work in your relationship to, to make it even, like there's a commitment here. And I feel like this commitment is to take a trip, is to go off in a, not necessarily a new direction, but it looks like you guys are committing to planning a trip. This is something new for you. And I feel like this trip is going to usher in new opportunities in your relationship to expand those emotions even more. This is something that you guys are going to look back on years to come. You're going to look back on how wonderful. Remember how that trip was and everything was just right and there was resources around to support it. There was time given to support it. This is a wonderful month here, okay? So enjoy this, okay? Now let's take a peek into, let's move on to, yes, the situationship for Sagittarius. Hmm. Come on, angels. What is going on with the situation ship for the month of August? Sagittarius. Remember, these are all red, right side up to get out all the positive energy. Thank you that we can. Now, hmm, let's make sure those don't fall there. All right, angels. We need some joy for the situational ships. Thank you. All cards red, right side up. Thank you and thank you. So then, here we go. Okay, sexual freedom and um, the fool card. I feel like there is, um, why do I get hot and heavy with the situation ship? I feel like you guys are actually doing something new, actually doing something like your whole relationship. It feels very, I hate to say this, very sexual, very sexual in nature, um, new things to try, new places to go, maybe even some romantic trips that you're planning. That's in the beginning of the month, but I feel like it's very, very hot and heavy at the beginning of the month. So if you haven't seen your situationship in a while, know that they will be there front and center at the beginning of the month. Now, when we look in the middle of the month, we have the silver waterfall and we have the, the queen of wands. So in the middle of the month, I see you very emotional about this situation. It's almost like you're climbing the walls. You're trying to get closer you're not understanding why things are the way they are but with the queen of wands I feel like you will have the ability to tap into your intuition to find out why you are literally feeling the way you're feeling it's almost like you have that full moon energy um like um I'm picking up like full moon like in cancer like you want you want security, you want stability, you want to know that they're going to be there all the time. So I feel like at the beginning of the month, they are there, front and center, very much involved in everything that you do. Now, in the middle of the month, it feels a bit, you're worrying, you're wondering, you're in your emotions about why they are not there. And, you know, you're going to tell them. You're going to talk to them about this. Now, at the end of the month, we have the Sacred Woman card and the Justice card. Whatever you feel is just for this situation. I feel there is a healing element here. This healing element has to do with you loving. This is self-love here we're talking about. What is going on here? Uh, I, I feel like... By the end of the month, I feel them coming around. 
And I feel you saying that, no, I'm working on me. I'm working on me at the end of the month. And that is fair. That is just. And the reason why the hangman reversed, you're, you, you've been tired. You're tired of hanging around, waiting around, going through your emotions, wondering why, you know, looking at your phone, things of that nature. So I feel like by the end of the month, you're going to give them a taste of their own medicine okay because you've kind of been waiting for way too long it was almost like you were on this this in this roller coaster ride and you're on this big high at the beginning of the month and it slowly decreases in the middle of the month and then it slowly decreases and then they do come back around and you're like i don't think so i'm i'm getting off this roller coaster okay so i'm going to leave that there i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way